What's up, what's up guys? Before I get into this video, just a reminder, if you want to see me day trade some of these setups and strategies live at the open on stream, make sure you join us for our live stream starting at 8.45 a.m. every weekday morning. I review what's moving in pre-market and then day trade live at the open on stream. And so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to check that out. And with all that being said, enjoy this video on this week's most profitable day trading setups. Okay, so this week started off pretty well on Monday. I was watching HRTX and this thing had gapped up a pretty big amount all the way from $20 all the way to 30. And so I was definitely watching this for a short play. Usually when I see a stock gap up this much, I'm usually pretty short biased with it just because it's overextended and many times people are going to start taking profits at the open. So I waited for this one to push up some and then break the low of the day and got in at about $28.60. Now this overextended short setup is slowly turning into one of my favorite setups in the market just because it's been pretty reliable with me so far this week and it's definitely one of those trades that I look for every morning. Just like I was looking for, eventually HRTX dropped down to about $27.85 and so I made roughly $0.80 cents on this trade for a small gain on TradeNet. If I could critique this trade in any way, I probably should have used a little bit larger sizing and that's something I definitely need to work on, but I can't be too upset for taking a small gain on my TradeNet account and just trying to work on my consistency first. Okay, so Tuesday was a decent trading day as well. I was watching PRPO and it had a really huge push in a picture perfect one minute pullback setup. If you've never heard of that setup, it's basically getting in after the first red candle after a big run. And you can see PRPO had a pretty big run before you can see that one consolidation red candle. My plan with these type of setups is to get in after that first red candle. And so I got in this one at about 95 cents with a very small share size of 50 shares. Eventually it pushed up to that one 13 level doing exactly what I wanted it to and I ended up getting out of this trade for a small $7 profit. I probably should have held it a little while longer because it did push up a decent amount after I exited my position but I can't be too upset for taking profits on my small day trading accounts. Okay, so Wednesday didn't start off that great. I was looking for the overextended short play on PRTA and got in once it broke the low of the day. I did get scared out of the trade after it had a small push back up and the problem with this trade was that it was a correct trade idea and eventually it broke the low of the day again and continued heading down in the direction I was originally looking for. I was able to bounce back with a nice trade on PTI. This one was pretty extended gapping up from the day before and so I got in going short once it broke the low of the day at about $5.65. It continued dropping for some time and I definitely had a decent amount of patience with this one, holding it until it eventually dropped down to about $5.50 for a $0.14 cent gain and about a $7 profit on my trade net account. Okay, so on Thursday, I was able to rebound some from Wednesday's losses and was watching GES after a very small gap up overnight. As you can see by the chart, it was a picture perfect washout long setup and so I got in once it broke the high of the day with a very small share size of 30 shares. It quickly pushed up really nicely in my direction and I tried to get out of this one for a decent 7 or $8 profit but had a pretty poor fill on TradeNet and ended up only taking a $5 gain with this trade. Although it was a very tiny gain, my trade idea was correct and hopefully next week I can get used to using larger sizing and taking some bigger profits from my correct trade ideas like this. Okay, so Friday I was having some problems with TradeNet and so I just traded on Ustock and Robinhood for the remainder of the day. I got in RHE after a beautiful washout long setup at about 55 cents and wrote it up to about 62 cents for a very small $5 profit on my small Ustock account. The reason the gain was so small is because I was originally trying to get more shares but Ustock just wouldn't fill me today and so I don't know what was going on with it. 
My next trade was on NFEC and I noticed it was following the 9 EMA for most of the day and so I waited for it to pull back and touch the 9 EMA and got in at about 85 cents with a very small share size. Eventually it bounced right off the 9 EMA which is exactly what I was looking for and pushed up to about 95 cents relatively quickly. I ended up exiting the trade for a small scalp and made another $5 gain on this trade. Still, even though it was a tiny gain, I was definitely happy to get a few nice trades on Robinhood and Ustock. Hopefully next week I'll use a little bit larger sizing and take some bigger gains out of the market. My trade ideas have ultimately been correct for most of the week and I only had one losing day on TradeNet. Like I said, next week hopefully I can take some larger gains, but the most important thing is consistency here, not how much I make, and so I'm definitely happy with my results for this week. Anyways guys, if you want to see me day trade using these setups and strategies live at the open every weekday morning, join us for our live stream at 8.45am every weekday. I review what's moving in pre-market and then day trade my small accounts live at the open on stream and so if you want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, show your love by liking these videos and with all that being said, good luck in the market on Monday. Thanks for watching guys.